well, distance. Mm. The Lord is good. Yes, yes, he's good, honey. <laughs> Blessings. Hallelujah. Happy June month. Oh, yeah, June Happy month. marriage month. This is a month that the Lord has made. Mm -hmm. We will rejoice and be glad. And we're going to have a wonderful time rejoicing in it. Yes. Because God's good. God is good and God is faithful. He's Hallelujah. Faithful. Yes, yes, yes. Yes, yes. We're excited about today. We're excited Amen. about the word that we're going to bring forth and, and, and share with you as being a, a, a married couple. Uh, even singles, amen. But we want to drop some nuggets. This uh, to, this cause life to come your way, and we're going to have a prophetic, amen, flow of the word of God to encourage you, to lift you, to steer you, and to get you on another level, amen, of love for the glory of the living God. Yes. We speak the life-giving prophetic word of God over your marriages. The word of the Lord says, faith comes by hearing, and hearing by the word of God. When you hear the word of God, God's going to call some new strength, refreshing to come upon your marriage today. We are representatives and ambassadors of marriage. Mm -hmm. We love you. I'd like to uh, refer to us as marriage doctors. Why mm -hmm. not? Oh, we are doctors. So big <laughs> come ones. on in. Put that marriage yes, to it. And, absolutely. And, thank, absolutely. You, and we thank God we've been married for now some ooh, uh, 30, 30. It'll be 31 mm -hmm. June 30th. 31. And it's uh, coming up and, and doesn't even really seem like we've been married that long. Uh, uh, and I believe partly because uh, we've had a wonderful marriage. And, and it's by the hand of God, the grace I of God you. and and the, the love of God for us. And, and so we just thank God for God's grace upon our grace. relationship grace. so we can be the people that God's called us to be so we can help make a difference. We want you to have a wonderful marriage. If your marriage is wonderful, God bless you. If you're going through something, well, God's going to help you and we want to help you and we want to encourage you we want you to know that God will bless your marriage no matter what you may be going through. I'm here to let you know everything it deals in this world that we live in is seasons and, and right. seasons will change. change. Season will change. But as the Bible says, having done all to stand, you got to stand there for. Mm -hmm. This is going to be a very good replay. <clears throat> God's going to speak life to you in your marriage. Your marriage is going to live and not die. The strength of God is in your marriage. We bind the spirit of separation and divorce. Mm -hmm. There are some people that has been going through some challenges, and we come to speak to your challenges as a resource from the source, and that is our God. And God's going to cause us to retreat in his presence so that we can thrive and flourish with our marriages. We haven't been in your presence in just a little bit, not too long, not too long ago, but we thank God again that our source gives us the resources to give to you, amen, so that your marriage can thrive and so that you can advance and your marriage will, as a result of our message, be taken to another level. Mm -hmm. It's eminent. You are going to thrive. Mm -hmm. You will not die, but your marriage will live. Mm -hmm. We bind the spirit of adultery mm -hmm. in the name of Jesus. God has greater things in store for you and your marriage, and it is so. In Jesus' name, I'm so excited about it. Mm -hmm. And so we want to stir your, your faith up stare. so you can go to another level. That's Amen. Right. We always have to just keep climbing, keep climbing. Yeah. Amen. Don't ever stop and say, hey, I done climbed a couple of levels. No, keep climbing. Keep. Amen. In marriage, we got to keep climbing yeah. and striving, God, to be a better husband, a, a, a better wife. Yes. Because all, all it is, it's our relationship with God. Because God will give you seed and he'll give you wisdom. He'll give you the strength to climb and go to another level. Well, sometimes the levels is our, our places where God develops us. And, yeah. and sometimes yeah. we going through this and that, but God, what's going on? It's just a level. But guess what? That level will change. You begin to climb and go to another level because yes. you're going to learn some things by experiences. And so uh, it's, it's amazing when you get married. Amen. You didn't have no big old book and book that would you and go, no class and go to the university. Right. Amen. To learn mar right. marriage. Right. marriage. But, but, but lots of it. We thank God for the word of God and we thank God for our community and thank God for pastors, amen, speaking the word of God, giving wisdom over the pulpit, and thank even you, marriage gatherings where people mm -hmm. encouraged to be edified, amen, with marriage. And so God wants your marriage to be stared up. God wants your marriage to go to another to level live. for the glory of God. Yes. Listen, I, I know there's some back glasses from the enemy yes. 
yes. mad at you being yes. one and mad at you saying I love you and want to hinder you in every way he can because he comes to steal, kill, mm -hmm. and destroy. Mm -hmm. But God said, I come that you might have life and that more abundantly. Yes. God wants you to live and not die and declare the works of the Lord, how God brought you out of the mouth of the lion. But look at us now. God has blessed us. God has prospered us. And God has done great things. And this is what God is saying to you. Yes. So I speak life over you right now. I speak life and I bind the works of hell, but I speak life over you yes, and we cover your mind, God. We come against every fire and dark that has come against your mind, but we release the power of God over yes, you. Yes. We release the health of God over you, God. And God, we rebuke the spirit of sorrow, God. Mm. But God, we speak the spirit of joy yes. in your situation. God can turn that what looks ugly. He will turn it for your good. And God is working by the power of the living word. And God, there's life that comes out of our tongue, God, to produce more life in their life. And so let the life go on your ear gauge and cause life to begin to germinate on the inside so you can go to another level in God. Peace, we decree yes. and declare in Jesus' name. Jesus said the words that I speak to you, they are spirit and they are life. And the words that we speak to you because the Holy Spirit is on the inside of us, they are spirit and they are life. Some of you have suffered and you retreated in your own corners of pain and sorrow. And it's hard to talk to people when you're you're going through a marriage mm. because there's another individual that is involved who perhaps would choose to be discreet about their business. Of course, nobody wants to put their business out there. And so many people, amen, they're just private and they want to, again, administer what discretion. They don't want to tell people some people's motto, mm -hmm. if it ain't broke, don't fix it. Mm -hmm. But I'm here to tell you, uh -huh. it doesn't have to be broke right. for you to get a continuous acceleration, mm -hmm. refreshing uh -huh. and a fixing on your marriage. Mm -hmm. We all need help. I believe that we have a great marriage. We have a great relationship. But we also, amen, we have to understand that we need the presence of God. We need to continue to apply the word of God. We still need to retreat to the source, which is God, almighty Jehovah, to continue to have a good marriage. We have to apply the word of God. We have to pray. Come on. We have to fast. We have mm -hmm. to love one another. We have it's to work our work. tongues. Mm -hmm. Yes, it's work. Mm -hmm. We don't always agree. But we love one another so much that I don't want to hurt you with words. Mm -hmm. I don't want to hurt you when thoughts come to my mind when I don't agree and just hurt you because you hurt me or I hurt you. Mm -hmm. Listen, you cannot continue to speak words of doom and gloom and just, you know, disagreement and anger, even though sometimes <laughs> those things are, they're necessary. You want to release, but you got to be careful how you say what you say and when you say it because God has some glue called crazy glue sometimes right. Dennis and it's covenant that we <clears throat> want to respect and we're here today because we want you to remain and retain mm -hmm. the love vows and cherish your covenant and remember this this is a good fight because look here there's warfare going on that's right in every area of life that's there right. is spiritual warfare, warfare. going that's on right, you're not exempt from it it's that's going right. to happen but you're going to have to fight for your marriage Come you're on. going to have to let the enemy know look here I'm getting ready to take I'm charge You've been doing crazy stuff. Stuff has been happening, but I'm going to use my authority. And there is the authority that's in your tongue. This is why God said in the book of Psalms, uh, he says in Psalms 2 and 7, says, I will Share. declare the decree. Yes. The Lord has said unto me, thou art my son, and this day have I begotten you. In other words, he's saying, you have authority as a king to declare Say. and decree what God has put in your spirit. Uh -huh. Sometimes you get to prophesy over your wife. Uh -huh. I, I prophesy, God, that I relate relationship is better, Father. Yes. I prophesy, Father God, Lord, With that our live. intimacy is better, God. Yes. I prophesy, Father God, Lord, that our joy, God, is going to another level. You got to speak those things. You got to prophesy over your marriage because there's life that's coming out of your tongue. But the enemy would want you to say something crazy about your wife, something crazy about your past, something crazy about my God's situations going on. But look at here. You are an overcomer. Yes. And God has given you the ability to overcome everything. Everything, every, every obstacle, obstacle that yes. can come your way, That's you right. gotta let the enemy know. Look here, you are coming down. And my fact, I'm gonna war with my tongue. My war, my God, Lord, my tongue is it's a it's a 
it's, it's, uh, uh, it, it, it will write a story, uh, yes. uh, yes. rewrite a story yes. by what I say. I yes. speak life of my wife. Yes. I speak the joy yes. in of my relationship. I, pe I speak the peace of God that's all in our relationship, God. I speak the joy, unspeakable and joy of in our relationship, Father. We declare it and we decree it in the name of Jesus. I'm telling you, devils will run. Demons will have to get out of there. I mean, everything that will come against you would have to move away because there's power and authority in your tongue. When you decree a thing, God will cause it to happen. He will establish it by the power of God. That is so correct. And listen, we go from glory to glory. Just because we have been married th going on 31 years, that does not mean it's time to preach a eulogy. It does not mean that we have to continue in the same familiar, mundane, un you know, familiar, <clears throat> uh, mediocre, average thing. I speak 43 no. of Isaiah 43 and 19. It says, Behold, I will do a new thing in you, shall it not spring no forth? Thing. I'm going to make a way in the wilderness of your marriage. And again, Dennis, sometimes we wait until our marriage needs CPR yes. before we seek help. But you've got to seek help, first of all, in the presence of God. I go to God when I have problems. And mm -hmm. then I'm going to be woman enough to come to you and say, Dennis, this hurt me, or that hurt me, or I am hurting, period. You know, I don't have a problem mm -hmm. talking about what hurts with me or how it hurts or uh -huh. when it started hurting. You already know. Uh -huh. And I think that communication has been one of the greatest obstacles yes, in powerful. marriage. Y'all know this. Y'all done <laughs> heard it all before. But we are here today so that we can speak the what's called Zoe. It's the life of mm -hmm. God, the Ruol, the strength, the breath of God over your marriages. Dennis, so many marriages are hurting. But I, I'm so excited that in the month of June, I've seen so many anniversaries because that, that, that means that so many people have gotten married in the month of June. Mm -hmm. This is the month that the Marriage Lord has month, made. Yes. And we will rejoice mm -hmm. and be glad in it. And today, if you're out there listening and you're single, you're saying, well, I'm just going to tune out. This isn't applicable to me. Listen, the life-giving, refreshing Zoe, the word, the refreshing word of God, the accelerated, um, ever-increasing, unlimited opportunities are for you, single person. Listen, unmarried woman or man. The word of the Lord says, Dennis, in Isaiah, or, um, Ezekiel 37, can mm -hmm. these bones live? Mm -hmm. Can my marriage Yo, still live? Prophesy over it. Talk to it. Prophesy over it. And, and, and that's what you do. You prophesy over it. Just like the man of God had to do Isaiah, can these bones live? Come on. Amen. They're separated. Your marriage might seem like Ooh. we're separated, but God knows Ooh. how to bring things back together. Come he on. said, speak over your marriage. Yes. But he don't ever come on, speak over your marriage. Yes. I don't want to see him much of me. Speak, speak over, over your marriage. Yeah. And something happens. There's a Thank prophetic you, utterance that comes out of your tongue that produces life. It produces restoration. If you want restoration, you speak. Be you restoration. If you want healing, you speak healing. If you want she new to come up on that body, speak muscle back on that body. You gotta speak powerful words of an encouraging, life giving words that will cause change to happen. Because understand this in your tongue, there is authority, there is power. Things happen when you speak. And you have that creative anointing by the Holy Ghost where God will drop a nugget and He says, Now go on and talk it, go yeah. on and speak it. Yeah. And things will will happen because the life and death are in the power of the tongue. But God said, speak the life, speak the life, speak the life. Quit don't, when negative stuff come, say, not so. Speak life. And God will cause life to manifest in that marriage. Well, the body, the bones, and all that uh, uh, being separated, well, God will bring it back together because of you speaking life. Then it's just as sure as we're sitting here today, storms will come. Yes. Just as sure as my name is Deborah Denice and yours is Dennis James, storms are going to come. It's yes. inevitable. You can't. There is no discharge in that world. Uh, yes. But just mm -hmm. today, just as sure as my name is Deborah, you're going to need this life-giving medicine mm. that we're speaking over your marriage. The word of the Lord, again, I say, says, listen, um, the, the faith comes 
by what we're saying. Mm -hmm. There's winds of refreshing that's Come blowing on. over your single life right now. There is faith that is being um, compiled upon your faith yeah. right now as you're listening today. God is the word of the Lord says a very present help in the time of trouble. Some of you, you're going through storms and you've retreated. You said, listen, I've given up. I'm going to go it alone. I'm tired. I'm tired aren't the, the worst two words we can speak, Dennis. Mm -hmm. Sometimes it isn't until we are tired that we rise up hey. and say, listen, I am so tired that it's time for me to speak the life-giving flavor, mm -hmm. flavor flow of God that these two are talking about. Your marriage is going to live. It is not going to die. I bind the spirit of separation and divorce. Mm -hmm. You're going to get better. You're going to do better because you hear the unadulterated word of God. My God, God's word is a living we word, share. man. And, and it's a, a word that causes things to happen. He says in the book of Ephesians 3, 20, very familiar scripture, now into him that is able to do it exceedingly, exceedingly abundantly, abundantly, above all that we could ask or even think according to the power, listen to me, that worketh in us. There's a power already working in you, but God says, but you got to open your mouth and begin to speak it so yeah. I can manifest that healing. I can manifest that breakthrough. I can manifest that wisdom that you need, that answer that you need. God said you, the, the power is already on the inside of you. Don't you know the substance on the inside of you? And therefore, we got to say, Father God, let me get down into the whales, uh, the artesian whales yes, of the yes. Holy Ghost, God, and pull up, God, this that you already put in me, God, and God will call wisdom to come out of your tongue and you'll find yourself realizing God know that I am able to love this woman. I am able to forgive this man. Yes, I Lord. am able, God, Lord, to bring this house together. Why? Because you have the power on the inside and you got to begin to speak that Father, I thank you. What your word of God says, I speak the word only now unto him that is able to do it exceedingly, exceedingly abundantly, abundantly, and above. above all that I ask. I think, Father God. My God, my mind can't even grab all this wisdom, but God I can go down to the treasure check of your wisdom, God, chest of your wisdom, and begin to speak some things. And God will begin to manifest, my God, wisdom and nuggets. And, and you begin to speak life and, yes, and begin to speak healing. Why? Because God says, I'm able to do it. I'm able to do it. So quit saying, well, you preacher, you just don't know what I'm... God is an able God, and he, he dwells on the inside of you. You are able to get victory after victory after victory. I know it might be some mm, tough ones, but guess what? Get up and prophesy, and things will manifest for your good. I like that scripture, Ephesians 3 and 20, according to the power that works in us he's able to do exceedingly abundantly that means that there is a limitation of power that god can do if their power if there isn't power that's already working in you mm -hmm. there the the power is relegated to you but god can put power on your power you see what I'm saying? It yes. says, according to the power that's already working. Mm -hmm. Some of our power, Dennis, is dormant. Mm -hmm. Some of us, we're not walking, we're not moving, we're not operating, we're not accelerating, because your power is asleep. You're like, oh, okay, I've accepted the fact that my marriage is dead. Pull the plug, bye. No, you've got to say something. Mm -hmm. You have got to do something if you want something. So, according to the power, that's it's it's got to be something... Uh -huh. You know, if I want a, a, a nice body, I got to work out, bro. Mm -hmm. I got to I gotta do something because there's a power of yes. energy that is already working on the inside of me. I just got to add to what I have. Mm -hmm. That's what God wants to do when you add. He wants to give you, you know, an addition, a multiplication. No more subtractions. No more division. I want to give you something that you haven't had. And honey, I want to do something for you that you haven't had. Yes, And, 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 and honey, and if we read the, the scripture prior to this, it really opens that up. It says and to know, know the, the love, love of Christ, Christ with passive knowledge, information. <laughs> God said, look, it's all in the love of God. It's all in the love. Your marriage is based in the love. Amen. What you need is based in the love. Uh -huh. He said it to know the love of Christ, which passes knowledge uh. that you might be filled 
with all the fullness of God. Of God. That's Baby, that's good, a lot. That, 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 ooh, that's some good words. My God, you, in other words, your well should never run dry. That is correct. It should never run dry. God said, I got something. Just take a dip. Drop my God, Lord, that, 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 that thing down in the water, that, that bucket, and I'm going to put something in there and pull it up because I, I have what dips. you need. I yes. have what you need. He can bring you, my God, a tub full. He can bring you an ocean full. But whatever you need, God says, I have it so I can fix anything. There's nothing God yes. can do. Yes. But oh, preacher, if you only understood, there is nothing God can do. Oh, preacher, you, if, if you only knew, did you not know? If there's nothing that God cannot do, Thank you, Lord. that's why he said he's able to do it sittingly, abundantly, above all that we can ask. I think according to the power that's already only inside of you. Did you not know the answer is already only inside of you? It's already there. Hallelujah. But when we seek the face of God, he'll stir up, my God, wisdom and knowledge and cause it to begin to rise up in your next thing. You're like, God, where'd that come from? Father, where'd that nigga come from? It's already in you. God has some answers for your situation in your marriage that you're saying, I just don't know what to do. God says, it's already in you. Hallelujah. Seek the face of God. Seek the love of God. And God said, let me manifest wisdom nuggets from love that's already on the inside of you. Because I'm on the inside of you to cause greatness to happen in your relationship. Our relationship has been notable for uh, bringing people together. Yeah, there's been a few casualties. Mm -hmm. But we are ambassadors for marriage. And we will continue to be. God has given us a grace to love each other and love on one another so that your marriage can receive the cardiopulmonary resuscitation that it so beautifully deserves. Mm -hmm. Come back alive. You're going to come back come to on. life. As a result, there's going to be a fellowship. I want to say this, a nugget. Um, July 25th, and our place is to be uh, announced. And, you know, Dennis, we, we thought it was a really good thing reunited and it feels so good mm -hmm. because of the you know the COVID you know we Separation had the so, and, social mm -hmm. distancing and everything but it's time to come mm -hmm. together mm -hmm. and sometimes that's why I love the house of God mm -hmm. I love the church hey come on Ecclesia cardio uh -huh. heartbeat the church is the place where you come in the presence of one another and some of you can be down but you'll come right in the presence of God and say hey you listen I see you down you're gonna look <laughs> ain't nothing the church nothing that's gonna like get me excited and, and we thank god for you know facebook live and all these other outlets but ain't nothing like, ain't the, nothing house like the house of god amen nothing like the house of god coming together praying together say you ain't even word. gotta touch hands but we can be in the same room together and there, there is virtue there's power say a there's word. authority there's synergy hey. there's so much that are happening when we come together and this is why we're bringing married people together and as my wife said we're going to announce that that date but look every but time we have our that. marriage yeah, gathering it is off it's the life, chain. Baby. It is at the chain. There's healing. Come on. There's restoration. There's deliverance. There, 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 there's Love. so many things that happen. Nuggets of wisdom. Thank you, Lord. That begin to flow in the atmosphere. Uh -huh, yes. It's like, my God, Please I'm share. telling you. And we need this. And our work says us this. We need this. When the world is going crazy and, and people with different, amen, mindsets and relationships and different things like that, you need to hear the, the alterated word of God, the word of God that will help you, will lead you, will guide you, that will give you clarity, will open your eyes, and, and you will see the truth out of the word of God where you know how to love that man and love that woman like Christ loved the church. Mm. God wants that to happen in your life. He wants your merits to be blessed. I'm here to let you know we speak over your marriage yeah. blessings yeah. and favor uh -huh. and increase. And uh -huh. Father, the hurts, God, that one has been going through, God, you heal the hurt, God. Let the hurts, God, to begin, God, to dissipate, God, but let healing rise hey, in them, God. In, and God, oil. let restoration, yeah. God, turn things around by yes, the spirit Lord. of restoration, yes, Father Lord. God. And Father God, we come against, Father God, all the corrosion, corrosion upon the relationship. Mm. We command all that, God, to be cut live. off. Yes. We commanded the break off, tear off, get off. But we command life. The life of God. To rise Come in you. Forth. Healing and yes. oneness to rise in you. In Jesus' name. You're going to live and not yes, going to die. Lord. I declare you're going to live Hallelujah. and not die. You're going to declare the goodness of God.
he's going to do it. I see visions, Dennis. I'm a prophet, yeah. and I see visions as you were praying. I saw some fresh water. Mm -hmm. It was just coming upon. I saw it so clearly, just like a refreshing, yes. refreshing. There's a mm, water. Yeah. There's a wellspring of water that's pouring upon you and your marriage right now. In it is unlimited opportunities. We serve an unlimited God, uh. and God is going to do for you like the word of God we wrote exceeding up uh. and abundant and above all that your mind can conceive, yes. there is greater deluge of blessings and favor. The flow, the life-giving flow of God mm. is coming to you and your family. Listen, it's going to fall on yes. your children. Don't be discouraged because the life-giving power of God is coming through your, I see the front door opening mm. and there's a welcoming mat because you have been faithful mm -hmm. over a few things. The Lord says, I'm bringing you up to rank some of rulership that you have known not. Just stay plugged in, stay tuned in, mm. keep hearing the fiery word of God because in it is the refreshing, the power, and the seasons. There are seasons of blessings that are coming to you. Don't be discouraged. Don't be discouraged. God is with you. Greater is coming your way. And we speak intimacy, Father yes, God. Lord. Let there be a healing in that relationship. Yes, with God. Lord. The intimacy, God, yes, our binding Lord. God will come back, Father. We bind the enemy that would separate God and divide God, but we call a oneness in that relationship, yes, God. And we pray, forth. Father God, that even the gift that you've given them, God, Lord, they were used, said God, Lord, to men to heal, God, yes. and to manifest, God, Lord, the blessings, God, upon one another, Father. So I speak, Father God, intimacy by the power you, of Jesus. God. And Father God, the old hurts, God, the old things that have separated and divided, we break Wash it, out. and we uproot, God, every yes. work of hell. But we speak life, and we speak oneness to you. In the name of Jesus, God, refreshing, God, renew, God. God, bring new joy, new laughter, God, and a new experience for the glory of God in their lives, Father. It is so in Jesus' name. Uh -huh. I believe our work is done yeah. here. You receive the word of God. This is life-giving sources and resources. Uh -huh. Some people pay for marriage counseling. Listen, baby, this is a free Holy Ghost mm -hmm. moment for you right now. Replay it. Share the broadcast. Share it. Remember share it. Remember July the 25th. We're going to be coming to you with more information regarding that gathering. You need to be there. God is good. And also for singles, July the 11th, there's a gathering that we're going to be talking to you mm -hmm. about. So we want, we listen, it's powerful. We're excited. We're, we're excited. excited. Yes. It's powerful to come together. I love the word gathering because God is doing something greater. Even, you know, concerning the season that we just came out of, he's going to restore all the things that the king worm so uh, yeah. is coming back. Mm -hmm. oh, total restoration total folks. Restoration. And it's going to be better than before. Are you Say with me? God will always make it better than how it was in the usual. All Say that what you thought was normal. God said I'm going to show you something bigger and greater. Amen. And a wonderful experience that you never had before in marriage. In the name of the Lord. The enemy comes to kill. But guess what? Our God he reigns. Life and we have the victory. And we speak victory over your marriage. Yes. In the name of Jesus. You shall live and not die. Yes, Lord. You shall prosper in awesome ways by the Holy Ghost. God is with you. Well, we thank God for the word of God today, and we pray that you receive, amen, this wonderful teaching download of uh, information that will help you and, and encourage you and your mate, my God. And if you're out there single, guess what? You better pull out some of this word, yeah, pull out some of this experience. So what you hear, it's going to help you for when you get married. Are you with me? And so it's a good thing to hear God's word. Well, I am uh, Apostle Dennis Gibbons, New Horizons Outreach and Ministry. I'm Deborah Gibbons, and we love you. We love you. God bye bless bye. you. Blessings. Blessings. Favor. Share it. Share the broadcast.